everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be kicking off a brand new playlist related to cloud firestore with python so i have a video that i posted very recently discussing cloud firestore and the sort of theory or concepts behind it so i discussed what is cloud firestore how to use it how it looks like i went through all of the features and all the things you can see on your screen when you create a firestore uh, project as well as discuss all the NoSQL rated stuff, so it provided a comprehensive guide to NoSQL, especially for beginners. I covered things like the Cloud Firestore database, documents, collections, the data types, how it all works together, how you can nest stuff, and all that. So if you are a beginner, I highly recommend that video and then getting started with this playlist. And this playlist will cover the Cloud Firestore create, read, update, and delete operations using Python. So we will be having a Python command line application, which will be talking to the Cloud Firestore and creating, reading, updating, and deleting data to the Cloud Firestore database using our Python program. What this video is, it's the first video in that playlist, I mean, the first one without that, you know, theoretical video. Um, yeah, so it's the first video in that playlist, but in our video, we're going to be just setting up Cloud Firestore as well as setting it up with Python, so making sure that bridge between our Python program as well as the Cloud Firestore in the cloud is sort of working and making sure that everything goes well together. I didn't want to include this in the first, you know, create stuff video simply because i didn't want uh, to create confusion or in case someone's looking for this specific part all right so let's just get started i'm just going to add a project before i do that let me just highlight that you have to come to console.firebase.google.com so this is where all of the firebase stuff really happens now you can see i'm in my uh, youtube account and this is sort of just tutorial stuff that i've done before on my channel so none of this is serious or you know, a big project or anything. So I'm just gonna create a project. I'm gonna call this Cloud Firestore Tutorial. And what I'm gonna do is simply continue. You can enable Google Analytics. It's really not that big of a deal, but you're not going to use it for now. And yeah, so we're creating our project. Meanwhile, let's just go back to PyCharm. So PyCharm is the IDE that I'm using. So I use PyCharm for my videos related to Firebase but you can use virtually any text editor or IDE that you like, so there is no limit in this case. So what we're going to do is simply we're going to pip install Firebase Admin. So before I do that, let me just talk a bit about Firebase Admin. It is the admin SDK that Firebase provides, and it enables us to sort of talk to our Firebase application, uh, sorry, Firebase project, or the Firestore database that we have on the cloud. So this enables us to talk to multiple services, not just Firestore. Um, and yeah, you have an admin SDK for every language. So in this case, we're using the one related to Python. It will enable us to use Python to talk to our cloud Firestore database. You can obviously use other languages and for each language, there is you know, a separate tutorial that needs to be done. I guess you cannot really combine the multiple languages. Maybe I'll do one on Java very soon. All right, let's just take care of this one first for now. One thing also I wanna highlight before I just install this, I wanna talk about something related if you are a recurrent viewer on my channel. So if you're a recurrent viewer, you may have seen videos I have related to the real-time database, which is the other database service that Firebase provides. If you have seen those things, you may have noticed that in that case, we used a library called Pyrobase. Pyrobase itself is a wrapper for the Python, uh, sorry, for the Firebase API. And we used Firebase with Python to make everything so much easier. It is a fantastic library. It provides, it supports the authentication, the cloud storage, as well as the Firebase real-time database services. Unfortunately, it does not cover Cloud Firestore, which is why we have to go directly to the Firebase admin SDK to use Cloud Firestore with Python. So I'm just saying this why, because I want to clear the confusion. If you're not a recurrent viewer, if you haven't seen those videos related to real-time database, you can just ignore this statement. But I just wanted to clarify in case some people may get confused why we use Firebase in some cases and not in others, simply because Firebase does not support Cloud Firestore. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pip install Firebase admin. Now, in my case, I already have it. You're just gonna see a requirement already satisfied. In your case, you're gonna wait a couple minutes and you have it installed. All right. So now we've set up basically everything from the Python end. We're gonna go back, set things up from the Cloud Firestore end, 
then come back and code and see how everything works. So let's go back here. All right, we can see that the project is ready. I can click continue and it will take me to my project overview. What is this project overview? This is where you have access to all of the features or services that Firebase provides you with. You can see here that you have so many services. You have authentication, Cloud Firestore, Crash Analytics, Performance. You know, you have two databases, real-time database, Cloud Firestore. For a video detailing how to choose between Cloud Firestore and real-time database or what is really the difference, I have that sort of video. I can link it down below. Feel free to watch it if you're interested. It may give you some guidance on how to select the best database from Firebase for your project and what are the sort of pros and cons of each. Okay. I also have videos related to authentication with Python as well as real-time database. I have a big playlist as well as a one hour full course and cloud storage. So also feel free to check those out if you're someone who's really getting into that Firebase sort of domain or field and you really wanna work with it more and more. Okay, so now just to set things up with Python, what are we going to do? You're gonna to have to come here to project overview, see that little settings gear and go to project settings then. What you're going to do is go to service accounts. So just give it a second. And now you're in service accounts. So see what this gives you. This gives you sort of what you need for the Firebase admin SDK for separate languages. So for Python, we're just going to copy this and we have the following. So we're just going to paste this exactly the way it is in our PyCharm for our Python code. So this is what we have now. Then we're going to go back here. And we have this you know, nice button here and it says generate private key. So I'm just gonna generate key. This will download a JSON file to your machine. Okay, so you can see the JSON file here. I'm just gonna click open file. It's gonna open in VS code. So yeah, okay, like <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna just copy this, exit VS code, come back here and create this file right here. So I'm just gonna create a new file here. It will be a JSON file. We're gonna call it service account key.json and I'm just going to paste what we just copied. All right, now just in terms of practice, I just feel the need to highlight this. Please be careful. This isn't something you always want to have in your main project. For testing purposes, for a small project, go ahead. There is no restriction. But if you're working at a company or if you're working on a huge project and it has some sensitive information, credentials don't really belong here. You can keep it here when you're testing, but make sure when you're just pushing everything to GitHub, make sure this doesn't go there because it will give everyone access to your database. Okay, so for testing purposes, we will keep it here. All right, so what is this code that we pasted here? For now, from this end, we're sort of done. We can go back to Cloud Firestore and we'll get there in a moment. Let's just talk about the code. We've imported the Firebase admin, so the admin SDK. We've imported credentials, and from these credentials, we've created a certificate with this path. So I'm just gonna you know, erase this. There is no path, it exists in the same file that we are in. So service account key.json. And then what we're going to do is we're going to initialize an app. So this Python project here, this is an app that we're initializing to work with Firebase. We initialize this app, we give it these credentials, and now we should be set. So we're set now to work with Firebase but we haven't set up Firestore just yet. So going back to here, this is Cloud Firestore. Um, you know, you have options to compare databases. You can also check out my video to choose the best database you want. And what we're going to do is to create a Firestore database. You can start in production or test mode. I, you know, both of them would work with the code that we're doing now. Test mode is just, you know, easier because we are just like playing around with things, trying things out. So we're just going to create this Cloud Firestore database. So now that it's being created, another thing I want to import here is from Firebase admin, I want to import Firestore. And this is basically what I'm going to use to talk to the Firestore database. I'm going to create a variable called db and then Firestore dot uh, client. And what this will store, this db variable, it will store the client to my Firestore database. And this is what we're going to use to sort of talk to this database. So let's go back here. We can see this here. So we've created a Cloud Firestore database. Obviously it's empty. There is nothing here. Like I said before, for a more comprehensive guide, 
to what is sort of going on on this screen, how these things work, what is a collection, what are documents, how the data looks like. Go back to that video that I spoke about getting started with Cloud Firestore as well as NoSQL and you're going to really get a good understanding of how all of that works. For this video, we're just setting up the environment, how we're going to use Python with Firestore and not really talk about that sort of theory. Okay, I've created this uh, database. Now, like I said, there will be other videos related to creating, reading, updating, and deleting, but I'm going to perform a simple create just now, just to verify, just to show you that this works with Python. So I'm going to go back to Python. What I'm going to do is db.collection. I'm going to create a new collection and call it persons. And I'm going to use the add function to add a document to this collection. If what I'm saying sounds weird, no worries. Like I said, you just need a good understanding of how this stuff works. So I created a new document. There's a name, John840. I use this with basically every database tutorial I have on my channel. Um, but anyways, so now if I just run this, and like I said, don't really stress about this line of code. There will be a whole video dedicated to this. And then we go back here, we refresh our database. I have not much bandwidth these days, but uh, yeah, here we go. So we have a collection here called persons and we should see John inside it in a minute. And yes, here we have a document and we have John and his age is 40. So now we've, cre we've created a, a collection and our first document inside it, and we can verify that our code and our sort of project is all set up. So we've set up everything from the project end, from the Cloud Firestore end, from the code, and now we're ready to work with creating, reading, updating, and deleting. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you in the next one, and thank you very much for watching this.